Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Slater here, and I'm just going to be talking about, I don't know, just stuff. <laughs> but there's been a lot of news posts lately. Um, per, I don't know. Pretty much, there's been a few that of some YouTubers making some pretty cool guides. You should check those out. Uh, some of my favorites is Regicidal's um, Skilling Guides, and... Uh, Silent Core made a magic guide. Those are both really cool, and uh, I suggest you guys go ahead and t check those out. Um, let's see. So, pretty much this one right he here, uh, behind the scenes video 27 introducing Arion. That pretty much means that on Tuesday, um, those two Arion quests are coming out. So, get ready for those low level quests. But there, again, with the last two reworks, there's going to be some higher level rewards as well. Uh, yeah, so, but this is the one that I'm really excited about, and we're going to go into a little more detail with this. Um, this actually made me really happy. It shows that there's a lot of higher level content coming up soon, so, um, pretty much it's going to be a Tazar quest. It's going to be, it's called the Brink of Extinction, and it's going to be very high level, so I'm sa assuming maybe Grandmaster. Um, it's going to be the last in the quest line, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually, I actually have not done any of the Tazar quests, so maybe I'll do those next. Uh, player-owned ports, basically, those are going to be really high level to, uh, go in the quest, but it's going to be, like, Dungeoneering again. It's not really a skill, it's kind of like a mini-game that they've just pretty much made a skill. Although, I do understand what they're talking about. Um, they're calling this a gathering skill, based on the fact that what you're going to do is make these ports, and maybe ships and stuff go to the eastern lands, and at the eastern lands is going to be uh, things not accessible in Galenor. So, that's how you're going to be able to get these new items, maybe new armors, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I get it. It's a gathering skill, but again, it's somewhat like a mini-game, it sounds like. Um, Christmas 2012, the last... <laughs> okay, Halloween and Easter were both fail events. Come on, guys. <laughs> they were stupid. Um... And what they, what, the reason that they did what they did is because they were saying it was taking too long to make those quests, and um, they were only there around for a couple weeks. But what they didn't realize is a lot of players actually enjoy these uh, seasonal quests and stuff like that. So they're going into Christmas 2012 with the actual quest with a storyline, so they say. And this is going to be involving the stray dog, and uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. It's like a really random NPC that's going to be actually putting some content for once. So this also could be a god statues um, <clears throat> distraction diversion. Basically, you're going to be working with an artist, uh, and if you to construct god sculptures. And if you get the scaffolding and location right, you can get a reward, but... Um, not it says who knows what abominations you may end up creating if you get this wrong so I don't know maybe you'll have to fight some stuff so who knows what kind of content that's gonna be it says all so maybe it adjusts to your level grand early 2013 oh apparently all that's gonna be out uh, by the end of this year so that's cool um, play your own ports by the end of this year huh I don't know we'll see um, early 2013 Grandmaster level quest. Uh, so basically, it's going to be relating to the young gods. So, like Zamorak, um, Guthix, Armadil. Guth uh, not Armadil, sorry, Sardomen. And uh, that's going to be a grand Grandmaster quest, and I'm really excited to see that. And it says very high level, and they. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's going to be this. Maybe the Tazar one's going to be a Grandmaster as well, but who knows. As far as the Calphite Queen, or King, um, it's going to be a sinkhole in the desert, uh, just like last time, and um, it says, working for powerful new equipment and lip-smacking loot. So maybe this is going to be that level 85 plus armor um, equipment that uh, they mentioned in the live streams, if you did not watch those. These wilderness warbands, I don't really get it. Uh, pretty much it's saying that there's something in the wilderness that all the gods are sending the troops to uh, work together to get. Um, the very end says, raid their war camps using your non-combat skills or get set to bring some old-fashioned pain to these rampaging recruits. <clears throat> not really sure about that. I don't think it's been mentioned in anything, so yeah. Ranger and Slayer Dungeon High Level Plus. Uh, 
yeah, so it's going to be kind of like the Ganodermic Cave, um, but for rangers. So that's going to be really cool. Um, new equipment, new uh, Slayer monsters, and giving range a new reason to be around. <laughs> um, hmm. Also, they're talking about the new innovative uh, browser-based technology, so it's talking about better graphics, um, visual, better visual and audio, improved camera mechanics, and a bunch of cool stuff like that. So, new skills. There is confirmed two brand new skills. They're going to be in 2013, and uh, so there's going to be a resource collection skill, which is going to be the player on ports, and a support skill, which will be modeled on some of our oldest and dearest content designed to suit the old school yet complement the entire game. So I don't know, that sounds kinda cool. Oh, okay, so I don't know what this is. I, I w walked over this one. Pirates, dwarves, gnomes, desert gods, vampires, workshops, heroes, dragonkin, monkeys. Um, I guess, oh, it's just saying uh, there's gonna be some more quests kinda ending those um, quest lines and such. So, uh, there's going to be a rework on construction, um, world events, okay, to make sure you and your allies, I mean, s some of this is kind of just really out there stuff, so also level up all my stuff, this is what Mod Mark has been talking about, talking about, um, leveling up your, uh, rune pickaxe, leveling up your dragon simi to do, to be different from all the other weapons and such, and that's another thing the EOC is going to allow them to do that they couldn't do in the previous previous system. So there's going to be a whole bunch of new group systems and bosses and quests and a lot of really high level stuff. Uh, so next year is going to be really good. Um, and I guess I'll just cut it here. That's behind the scenes special edition of early of late 2012 and early 2013. So um, I guess I'm going to cut it there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go do some construction. Oh, I swear, I hate construction, guys. So I'm going to be really happy to get that out over with. And then I'm probably going to do a little thieving or something like that. Thieving and mining have a long way to go. And um, I don't know, not really looking forward to it. So wish me luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.